Say you're outside in negative 15 degree weather. Why doesn't your body react the same way? This is because of homeostasis. Because of homeostasis, your body doesn't freeze up in that situation. Homeostasis is defined as the tendency toward a relatively stable equilibrium between interdependent elements, especially as maintained by physiological process. In other words, our body is working to create uniform conditions even when the outdoor environment changes. This includes body temperature, blood pressure, blood pH levels, and glucose levels. Homeostatic control systems contain three individual components that control a variable within the organism. The three parts of the system include the receptor, the control center, and the effector. The receptor detects a change in a certain condition of the organism's internal environment. The control center interprets this information from the receptor, and through the effector, it responds to the situation. To simplify this, think of a house. Say the thermostat is set at 70 degrees, but the house temperature raises to 75 degrees because it's hot outside. The thermometer is the receptor that recognizes the change, and the control center in the thermostat figures out how to correct the change. The air conditioner is the effector that lowers the temperature back to 70. This is a simplified version of how the human body works. Homeostasis was first explained by French physiologist Claude Bernard. Bernard described this idea as milieu intérieur, the process of maintaining a constant internal environment despite the conditions of the external environment. Homeostasis is actually an extension to what Bernard called the inner world, talking about the inner workings of our body maintaining themselves when given a certain environment. He came up with homeostasis through his research on the pancreas and the liver. He discovered that the blood vessels would change depending on the temperature of the environment. In cold weather, the blood vessels in the skin would contract to conserve heat, and in warm weather, they would expand to get rid of extra heat. He was responsible for connecting nervous action with the control of metabolism, circulation, and respiration. This introduced the revolutionary concept of feedback control loops, which in other words is how certain systems work as homeostatic devices. Because of his work and impact in the medical field, Claude Bernard became one of the most distinguished and well-known scientists and is deemed one of the greatest men of all science.